Okay, we're live. All right. Hi, everybody. I'm gonna switch the camera real quick. Hi, guys. I know no one's on, and I don't even know if anyone's gonna watch this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do 15 minutes of live for you guys, as promised. Um, so, Shane and I are here alone. The kids are at home. The girls are taking care of Aaron. We just figured it'd be easier that way uh, because we're doing painting and a lot of it. And I just need to focus on getting the house prepared without any distractions from kids. Because with the teenagers, it's, you know, attitude and laziness. <laughs> and, you know, they don't want to do anything unless I give them specific instructions on what to do. And then three-year-old just gets into a mess um, constantly underfoot. So we decided to leave the kids at home. So right now, Shane and I are working on, our main goal today is spray painting the walls. And let me show you what Shane's working on right now. I'm just getting, I added some water to the ceiling paint because it's too thick. So we're gonna paint all this white. So that's cedar. We're using a, just a flat uh, ceiling paint, uh, kind of a sealer, and then I can overspray on the ceiling if I want to. So what it looks like right now, originally this area right here, is Shane was spraying with spray with um, ceiling paint, and then some of it dripped down. And then he was like, oh, let's just see what it looks like. And so we did, and this is what it looks like up close. You can see the wood grain coming through and it looks really pretty. So we decided we're gonna go ahead and paint this. And so we figured we should go ahead and finish what we started and go ahead and finish this all off. <laughs> okay, now I'm opening up the window. And all the tile is coming out. Oh, I don't have strong enough. Right. There we go. So that's what we're working on now. I'm sure you the house so far. Okay. So I cut this wall out. I've got my second layer skin of joint compound on, waiting for it to dry. I still got to finish patching up on here. I got to put some uh, corner edging on it. And, um, some uh, compound tape. <clears throat> these are the these are the paint samples. That's where the wall used to be. It was a half wall. These are the paint samples that we had chosen from. Mm -hmm. And I can't see. Let me come over here because the so, light. Oh, let me turn the light on. Uh, didn't yeah, make much of a difference. Not much. This one, uh, we have five gallons of, and this one is the agreeable gray we have five gallons of. Let me get is closer. This is this one the agreeable there gray? There we go. Okay, so we've got, um, I forgot what this one was called. This is Bit of Sugar, so I got a gallon of that. The fireplace wall is going to be in, done a final coat in Bit of Sugar. Right, so that is going to be this. And then this so is... so hard to tell on the camera. This is the agreeable gray, right? Um, this yes. Okay. So this one That's, we have five gallons Sherwin of this. Sherwin Williams, and, agreeable gray. And five gallons of this. Yes. And then we got five gallons of this. This was actually an oops paint, which is right here. This we got for $30. It's a, a primer and a, and a uh, paint and a primer in one. And we got it at Home Depot for thirty dollars. They um, they made a mistake in it, and we found it, and we were like, "Oh my gosh, that is so close to what we want. It's almost the same." And this what this is the agreeable gray, and we were like, "Wow, that's amazing." So we went ahead and bought it. So we're gonna put this color on the walls in here, this wall, and this wall. This wall, this wall, and this wall. Okay. All right. Come on this way. And then the agreeable gray is going to come over here. The agreeable gray is going to be in this room and in this room. So we we cut out this wall also, and 
This stuff is pink when it goes on and dries white. When it dries, I can sand it a little bit and I'll put another coat on it. And then we can start working on this room. Yeah, so this wall came out to here? Yeah. Yes. Oh. No, you're right. Here. I think it did. It came out to like here. It came out right here. Yeah, and we cut all of that down. And I will show you guys all of that footage um, on my next video. So you can see up in the ceiling where there used to be a post that went down here. This is kind of like a catch up video because we haven't had time to edit. <laughs> I've been so busy. We worked like 14 hours yesterday on the house and well, we did all the ceilings. ceilings are done. Yep, ceilings are done. Working our way down. Yep. It's a construction site. It's definitely a construction zone. Go ahead and open up the doors. Oh, let me show them with the, the door. So the previous owners didn't do a very good job painting their door and the paint was peeling. So we went ahead and sanded that down. We got a, that was just a, a test area. We're gonna have to do the whole thing. But yeah. You can see the ceilings are done. Yep, ceilings are done. And then this um, had like wire shelving in it and you know, louvered doors that were hideous. And I got rid of all of that. And I'm going to turn this into a really pretty, like a bench with cubby holes in front. I mean, up on the top will be some nice cubby holes, like a tree hall. And it's going to be board and batten with a really pretty bench here for everyone to put their shoes on in the morning. And then all of this is going to be board and batten here. Same in here. And this is going to be a really pretty light gray color. It's going to be the same color that's in the fireplace room. It's going to be that really pretty light gray color. This wall was torn up. I guess when the previous homeowners took off the wallpaper, they took the wall off with it. And those curtains, yeah, I finally took those curtains off. A lot of the <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. But I am eventually going to paint these, but I don't want paint on them right now. But these are going to be a nice, beautiful, um, bright white. And then the banister, I'm going to stain it in ebony color, like a beautiful um, black stain. And then we're going to remove the carpet off of these stairs. And I'm going to stain, um, I'm going to stain the steps and then paint the risers white. But the steps are going to be in ebony, like a beautiful ebony black color. And let's go ahead and go upstairs. It's a nice rack full of toys and stuff but there's no nails or anything like that <laughs> but like I said there's no kids here today anyway so all right so here's Aaron's room and what we've got done so far in here is the black wall <laughs> so we just have a black wall here and I'm going to paint his doors and then everything that's blue is going to be a very pretty bright white. Right now I've just got a primer on the walls to cover over the blue. But it's going to be a nice bright white and it's going to be a very modern, like that farmhouse modern look. It's going to be very modern looking in here. Very cool for a little boy to grow up into his teen years. Of course, actually when the girls leave in a few years to go to college or you know roommates or whatever he'll he'll probably move out of this room and move into his sister's room and he gets to have his choice of room so this is emily's room emily's room was already painted this color and she likes the color so we're keeping it this color and there's her closet and then i put some glitter paint in here but it didn't turn out too well. That does not look good. <laughs> it doesn't look good on camera anyway. It looks good in real life. And then, and there's the, um, I gotta paint those doors. I gotta, one of those sets of, well, where is the set of doors? Anyway, there's a set of louver doors that I need to paint and put back on this linen closet. And then this is Jasmine's room. Um, funny enough, Jasmine is also doing the same exact wall colors as Erin. She's going to have the white walls, which we need to do this wall. These, these white walls need to be done again. And, and the black wall. 
And on this wall, she's going to have an entire row of desk space and vanity area for her to do her artwork and makeup. And then her bed's going to go right here. And then she's going to fix up her balcony however she wants it. And then this is her closet. And then this is her glitter wall. And it comes up horribly on camera. It's not fair, but this wall is black with gold glitter on it. It's really awesome. You can see that. And it's really cool looking in real life. It looks very splotchy right now, but um, it doesn't, it looks like that on camera. It doesn't look like that in real life. And then our bedroom. I'm gonna do just a very soft, light gray in here. And there's Aaron's chair. <coughs> and then our bathroom is gonna be completely renovated. It's gonna be a complete renovation in here. Why isn't the light turning on? We've got some electrical issues in here. The light doesn't turn on, the switch doesn't work. Hi, I look like crap. <laughs> Um, and then this is our bathroom with a huge skylight. It's beautiful. And we're going to redo this entire, oh, there's a wall there. We're going to redo this entire bathroom. We're going to gut it. And we're going to use some of the closet because we don't need this gigantic closet. But we're going to use some of this closet to be a part of our bathroom. So, I'm shutting this door because it gets so hot. Woo, it gets hot. Um, so that's what we're doing. So I haven't done anything in here yet. Our room's probably going to be the last thing that we do in this house. And um, we ha still haven't decided what we're doing as far as flooring goes. But... The skylight is awesome. So far up there. It's a beautiful day. Whoa, I keep bumping into walls. Um, yeah, that needs to be fixed. Look at these dirty walls. We're gonna paint these walls um, a darker gray so that you don't see the, um, the dirt stains. So yeah, that's what we've been working on. Um, I'm painting this uh, nice bright white again, and then the outside doors are going to be black. A beautiful glossy black. And the outside of the house is gray. So I brought this as inspiration. I'm going to be making some really pretty wreaths out of this, out of these types of flowers, and make um, black gloss doors and then put some really pretty wreaths with this type of a bright yellow flower in front. It's gonna be beautiful. So that is where we're at. Is there anything else you wanna add, Shane? Nope. All right, I wanna see what you've done so far with the paint. <coughs> all right. Well, there's not much to show. Oh, all right. Well, we're going to show the paint in another video because I want to show you guys the surprise reveal. Yeah. So we're done then, huh? Yeah, surprise reveal. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> we'll show you in the next video.